Good afternoon, good evening, this is John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I made a video that said I'm not going to review Captain Marvel on this channel. And I'll be honest, I knew Captain Marvel was unpopular. I had seen a few videos that the Rotten Tomato scores were pretty low. 53%, 44%, 42%, and now 38% of people want to see. Let me point out something that's probably been pointed out before, but anyway... When you see this train, you know, she's riding it, and it's all dudes. Not only white dudes, but, you know, dudes of all color. It's all guys. Like, look at Captain Marvel. She's so tough. Because, oh my god, what are we gonna do? So, who wants to see Captain Marvel? Well, it's not that hard. I mean, let's think about it. So, first of all, there's people who don't know what Brie Larson said about white dudes, or just racist statement in general. I mean, had she said... Black dudes, Mexican dudes, Chinese dudes, wouldn't matter so much. Any regular person would say, hey, she's, just, she's you know, kind of a racist. I'm not going to see that movie. And then there's woke people and social justice warriors who are on her side. Who are like, yeah, look at Brie Larson standing up against those men and those white dudes. Let's see Captain Marvel. So that's like the 38% right there. That's who wants to see it is people like her, and people who just don't know what she said, and don't know why people, you know, are so mad or so crazy about not seeing this movie, or I guess I could say boycotting this movie. So let me just read real quick what they say about it and why people might think it's so bad. The story follows Carol Danvers as she becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two races set in the 1990s Captain Marvel is an all-new adventure from a previously unseen period in the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Rated PG-13 for sequences of sci-fi violence and action and brief nudity. <laughs> Not brief nudity, I mean brief, uh, brief language, brief suggested language. Wonder what that is. Wow, Captain Marvel giving the mansplaining to Samuel L. Jackson, I guess they... You know, they don't want people 12 and 11 and 10 to hear that, just the 13-year-olds. The cast looks okay, aside from Brie Larson there. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. But, I don't know, she's a little phony. She can't even look really like, smile right. She's like... Samuel L. Jackson's cool, but if you're, like, saying, Well, I'll see the movie for Samuel L. Jackson. Why the hell would you see the movie for Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah, he's awesome. I love Samuel L. Jackson. Go watch Pulp Fiction. Go watch one of the other, you know, amazing 50 movies he's in. Why watch him, you know, aside the SJW hero, Brie Larson? Ben Mendelsohn? Okay, cool. Don't need to see the movie for him, necessarily. Kind of sounds like Scott Mendelsohn. Not his fault, just saying. Jimon Hyunso? Okay, well, if I'm not going to see it for Samuel L. Jackson, I'm not going to see it for him. Lee Pace? Meh, going to keep up the pace and not see Captain Marvel. How about Lashana Lynch? Well, if I'm not gonna see it for Samuel L. Jackson, then I'm not gonna see it for her either. How about I see it for this scene? She's winning some stand-up arm wrestle or some bullshit. All right, so I just wanted to say one more thing about racism, again, because that's what this whole thing's about. That's pretty much why nobody wants to see it, or like I said, the 38%, soon to be 30%, or something like that, is that you can't really be racist against white dudes and not also be racist against white women. Because if you're racist against white dudes and you think white dudes shouldn't be at your press conference and white dudes shouldn't make props for movies, you know, or like less white dudes or something like that, or judge a color of skin, then you're also being racist against their families who are their sisters, their daughters, their grandmothers, their mothers, things like that. So she's basically just racist against white people and she's a white and there's no reason for it. So, great, 38%. Let's see how low it can go, baby. I hope I'm making another video tomorrow. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize for all the Captain Marvel videos, guys, but it's now down to 18%. Now five, now one, now it's negative in the box office. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. I'm enjoying watching that, at least. I mean, I'm really enjoying watching this movie really fail. <laughs> that didn't do anything. I'm really enjoying watching this movie fail, and I don't even have to watch the movie. And look how much entertainment I'm getting out of it, and all the other channels you guys are watching. Of course, I checked out Geeks and Gamers, and John Talks, 
and SC reviews and things like that. And it's so enjoyable watching this movie just kind of flop before it even starts. So what do we need to see the movie for? We already got the enjoyment out of it. Here's my Captain Marvel video where I'm saying that, you know, I'm not just not going to see the movie for the sake of my channel. And we're on 31 likes and 2 dislikes. So like I said, that's about the proportion, you know, about... You know, two people to 31 are walking by like, Hey, I'm gonna see Captain Marvel. It's pretty good. Shut up. Brie Larson's saying some political stuff. She's not that bad. So that's it. You know, this whole video is pretty much just about Captain Marvel being on 38% and hopefully going lower and lower, baby. But I'm gonna give a shout out to Arn Inquisitor. He's been helping me out here, supporting, being great. You need some channel art, dude. Maybe you forgot that. Anyway. Check him out, he does Star Wars EU stuff, and if you want to subscribe here, especially if you don't like the direction Star Wars is going, and I guess now the direction Marvel's going, yeah, you'd be right at home. I do shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. I will see you next time. The story follows Carol Danvers as she becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes.